Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. It is literally raining deals for Bharat Electronics Limited BEL. On 23rd March, Ministry of Defense has signed two separate contracts with BEL at a cost of over 3700 crore rupees. The first contract worth rupees 2800 crore which pertains to supply of medium power radars MPR Arudra for Indian Air Force. The second contract at an overall cost of approximately 950 crore rupees related to 129 Dhruti DR118 radar warning receiver. Again on 25th March 2023, the Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with BEL for procurement of two Heem Shakti Integrated Electronic Warfare System. The contract worth rupees 3000 crore and will be completed in two years. Now, in yet another boost to Aat Nirbharta in defence sector, the Ministry of Defence on 29th March 2023 signed three contracts, two with Bharat Electronics Limited, Gajiawad, and one with New Space India Limited, NSIL, at a total cost of nearly 5,400 crore rupees to bolster the defence capability of the country. The first contract with BL pertains to procurement of Automated Air Defence Control and Reporting System which is also called Project Akash Tir, which worth Rs. 1,982 crore for Indian Army. The second contract with BL is related to acquisition of Sarang Electronic Support Measure System along with associated engineering support package from BL at an overall cost of Rs. 412 crore for Indian Navy. The contract with NSIL, which is a central public sector enterprise under Department of Space, Bengaluru, pertains to procurement of an advanced communication satellite, which is called GSAT 7B, which will provide high throughput services to Indian Army at an overall cost of Rs. 2963 crore. All these projects are under Buy India. IDDM category. Now talking about Project Akash Teer, it is an automated air defense control and reporting system which will empower the air defense units of Indian Army with indigenous state-of-art capability to effectively operate in an integrated manner. Akash Teer will enable monitoring of low-level airspace over the battle areas of Indian Army and effectively control the ground-based air defense weapon system. It is equivalent to IACCS network of Indian Air Force, which brings all the air defense assets into a centralized network. Talking about SARIN system, it is an advanced electronic support major system for helicopters of Indian Navy designed and developed indigenously by DRDO. The scheme will generate an employment of approximately 2 lakh mandates over a period of 3 years. Both the project will encourage participation of Indian electronics and associated industries including MSMEs who are sub-level vendors of BEL. Talking about the advanced communication satellite, it will considerably enhance the communication capability of Indian Army by providing mission critical beyond line of sight communication to troops and formation as well as weapons and airborne platforms. This geostationary satellite will be first of its kind in the 5 ton category which will be developed indigenously by ISRO. Many parts and sub-assemblies and systems will be sourced from indigenous manufacturers including MSMEs and startups. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.